Hi, I'm Dr. George Branavaki, orthopedic surgeon from the Advocate Christ Medical Center Bone and Joint Institute. I'm here to tell you about a new advancement in total knee replacement using an iPod to perform the surgery. If your kids are like any, anything like my kids, they, they love video games. I grew up playing the Atari in the 1970s and 80s and uh, was always on there on the joysticks, etc. And now my kids are always on these iPhones and iPods and playing games. Well, we now have the ability to help perform an ear placement using an iPod. The way it works is, there's a, there's a cradle. You pop the sterile iPod, which is put in a sterile pouch during surgery, into the cradle. There's sensors attached to this, to this cradle, which is uh, attached to cutting guides used to help align up your knee replacement implant. And as you can see in this TV screen, I'm able to adjust the angle of my uh, cuts to help better position my implant. So now I'm gonna demonstrate uh, how the uh, tibia cut would be made and how you would line up the cutting guide as if you were the surgeon. So traditionally you would take the cutting guide, put it up against this with a rod that goes through the bone or attaches to the outside of the leg and the accuracy is, is good but uh, not as good as with computer assistance. So you just take the iPod in the sterile cradle here and we line it up this way and we want it to sort of say zero in certain planes and we basically line it up until we're satisfied with the way the cut is. And sometimes we have to look at our x-rays and make adjustments so that the leg is straight in the end. If I put our, put our pins in there, once it's securely fixed, this, this snaps off right there. This is still on the bone with pins. We do our saw cut, and we take the, saw, the cutting guide off, and then we just check it with the, uh, with the iPod there that's where our cut is where we thought it was. Now, once the knee has been implanted, we can assure that the knee it goes all the way straight and it bends well. In other words, it's, it's balanced well enough that the patient can be successfully uh, taken away from surgery and start the rehabilitation. Uh, so basically I hold this off to the side and I'll be taking the knee through range of motion and it's gonna tell me exactly how far it straightens, how far it bends, and if it's too loose or too tight. And so using this technology, I'm able to control everything myself and uh, really make the knee um, go in much better with the potential to have uh, less pain, less bleeding, better range of motion, and improved outcomes in a, in a knee that lasts longer.